As a coffee enthusiast, it's easy to go way overboard on how many coffee cups you have at home. I live alone and I have 26 coffee cups. But honestly, the cup you pick is super important for how well your latte art will come out and what kinds of designs you can do. That's why in this video, I'm going to show you the best cups to use for latte art. Oh, and stick around to the end to see how you can enter my global giveaway of a set of these beautiful cups from Kruv. Can't you just use any cup you like? Well, of course you can. I've even done latte art in this wooden cup I got from a local shrine here in Japan. But if you want to get nice, consistent latte art designs, there are a few important features. One is that the cup should have a wide brim so there's more space to pour the design. This one's pretty obvious. If you want to do designs like this, you're gonna need the space. The curve at the bottom of the cup is also super important. If you have a really tall cup, then the milk is gonna travel a lot further so you can't start your designs early. The milk is also gonna blend like blurg at the bottom and you're gonna end up with more white marbling lines. Having a cup with a circular curve like this one is really gonna help you to pour better designs. The rest is personal preference on what you prefer the look of. So that's why I always use cups specifically designed for latte art, like the first one on my list, the new Imagine Double Walled Cups from Kruv. This one's the 250ml version and it's become my favourite cup to use for my morning latte. It has a continuous curve so when you're pouring into the middle, it's always going into the deepest point. This gives you some predictability in how the milk moves under the surface and helps to prevent those lighter marbling white lines. Now there's no handle, which for some might be a drawback, but it's a double walled glass anyway so it's not going to get hot to the touch, and for circular designs this makes it a little bit easier when you need to rotate the cup. I I love Cruz cup design and I've been using their espresso cups for a long time, but this is my new favorite in their collection. These are the ones I'm giving away, so more on that later in the video. Why am I doing this? This is the Not Neutral Lino. Nice! I love this one because it has a really distinctive design with this long handle where your thumb can sit really nicely on top of. It's also incredibly large. This is the largest one, 12 ounces or 355 milliliters. This gives me plenty of space so I can use it to do extra complicated designs that require a lot of room. I've seen some latte artists pull two double shots into one of these before doing their pour so they can have a nice base and a darker color. Man, that is a lot of espresso. This is the one you're going to use if you're doing world champion level latte art pours. Unfortunately, I'm not quite at that level yet. The last one I'll talk about is the Loveramics Egg, which was the official cup of the World Latte Art Championship in 2018. It's also probably one of the cheapest latte art cups and I've seen them for around 10 pounds. I'll leave a link in the description for those of you who wanna check that out. Honestly, I like this one mostly for the color. It looks really beautiful in photos and videos and it has a really nice thick edge to it. You'll need to be careful when pouring latte art designs though, because it is very easy to spill your latte over the edge. It doesn't hold surface tension that well. Okay, I know what you're waiting for, so here's how you enter the giveaway. Jump over to my Instagram, at Home Cafe Charlie, and check the post about the Imagine Cups, and then follow both me and Kruv, who I will tag in that post. There are a few other things you can do to raise your chances of winning, and you can check that out in the post itself. A massive thanks to Kruv for sponsoring this giveaway. I've loved their glassware for a long time, and I'm excited to see some in the hands of some of you lovely viewers. Good luck, and if you wanna learn more about how to do latte art, you should check this playlist of videos out here from my channel. It covers everything from milk steaming all the way up to to improving specific designs. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and tell me in the comments below what cups you use for latte art. Are there some really nice ones I might not have heard about or seen in cafes? I'd love to know which ones are your favorites. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.